Hello, I am the Lifted Starfish, and I will be using this video to briefly discuss what I mean when I use the terms objective and subjective. This is important because terms must be defined by their users in debate and discussion, and this is what my channel mostly does. With regard to these specific terms, I also find that many people use them differently than I do. I am using this video as a longer definition for those of you who want one, and as a template for shorter definitions when I need one for my future videos. The short definition, that I don't think many will have difficulty understanding, is that an objective opinion can be proved correct or incorrect without the interpretation of a person. Cubes have six faces, whereas a subjective opinion requires personal interpretation. Cubes look nice. Note that a subjective opinion can be made objective by using qualifiers, but those qualifiers will be subjective. I will call these softly objective opinions whereas hard objective opinions are objective opinions that do not require any subjective qualifiers. The subjective opinion, cubes are nice looking shapes, is subjective because what makes a nice looking shape is subjective. Now this statement can be made objective if we define what a nice looking shape is. If everybody in the discussion, for the sake of the discussion, accepts that a nice looking shape is any regular polyhedron, then we can say, objectively, that cubes are nice-looking shapes. This is softly objective, because the decision to define a nice-looking shape was subjective. Now, this is incredibly nuanced, and things like definitions are really hard to define, particularly because words do not have definitions, rather shared understanding. And as a result, language is inherently subjective. And as a result, requires much more discussion to properly go into, and delves into the realm of philosophy, a topic which, while I do enjoy discussing, is one that I have not discussed enough to feel comfortable delving into at this time. If I ever do make a video discussing the philosophy of this topic, I will add a card here. Setting that aside for now, for the sake of argument, I will be considering the most widely understood definitions of words to be their objective definition. Now, the objective opinion that cubes have six faces is a hard objective opinion because it can be demonstrated without subjective qualifier. The most commonly understood definition of a cube is that it is a polyhedron made of six square faces. It is because of this that we can objectively determine whether or not cubes have six faces is correct. In this case, the answer is yes. Another objective opinion, however, is a cube has four faces. This opinion can be checked objectively. Because the most widely understood definition of a cube states that it is a polyhedron made of six square faces, we can determine objectively that this opinion is wrong. It is still an objective opinion, just an objectively wrong one. Note that if it can be proven or disproven, it is an objective opinion. It is not a requirement that it be proven. An example of an objective opinion that cannot be disproved but can be proved is the existence of a god or gods. Many people have differing opinions on the existence of gods. I personally believe that there are no gods, nor is there one god. This is my opinion, and it is an objective one that may be wrong, though I only hold the opinion because I believe it to be correct. Many persons believe that there is a god and his name is Allah. That is those people's opinions, but they hold them because they believe them to be true. Now, whether Allah exists may be impossible to disprove, but it can be proven. All it takes is for Allah to reveal himself and many believe that he has through his prophets. This is why the existence of Allah is objective. I do not believe the existence of Allah has been proven, and I believe the same for all potential gods and goddesses, but all of their existences have the capacity to be proven. Therefore, they are objective opinions. I hope that this video has made it easier to understand what I mean when I use the terms objective and subjective. If you liked or disliked the video, you know what to do. If you have something to say about what's been said in this video, comment it. If you want to see other videos that I've made, subscribe, and if you want to be notified of future uploads, that's what the bell's for. If you want to give me money, use one of the links in the description. Thank you for watching, and I still don't have a sign-off.